Hey everyone, everyone. we're the Violet Violet Reality. Reality. My name is Casey Rain. And I am Kim Camellia, and we're back with another haul video for you, this time for August, even though it's September now, but it still counts. Yep, so you're probably wondering, why are you making an August haul video? And it's halfway through September, well, there's a very good reason for that, and that's just the fact that we were away. Yeah. We were away in Cardiff, which for all of our American viewers who may not know, is in Wales. It's the mm -hmm. biggest city in <laughs> Wales. And we were out there for a couple of weeks, um, and it kind of, we had some videos that we uploaded whilst we were away, but we weren't really able to make any new ones whilst we were there and obviously all of the stuff all of the print stuff that we bought um before we went away we didn't take it with us so we couldn't make this particular <laughs> video whilst we were away even if we had all of our you know camera stuff and whatnot with us um but no worries we are here on september the whatever it is right now um and we are gonna get our august Prince Hall video done right now so we can show you all of the cool stuff that we bought in August. Yeah, so let's get down to it. Let's grab the first item. So you want to grab it? Yes, so um, <laughs> back in April, whilst mm -hmm. we were in Minneapolis uh, for celebration, in fact, on the first day of celebration, the estate put out their Nothing Compares to You release, um, as well as the Hit and Run store uh, which was the second time they'd done the Hit and Run store. Now, if you don't know, the Prince Hit and Run store, they make a bunch of merchandise uh, and they have it up for a limited amount of time, um, usually just like a, a couple of weeks or something like that. Yeah. And so if you want it, you need to buy it in that very short frame of time, but then it's they haven't even made it yet. They're taking all the orders up front and then later on they make it and they ship it yeah. all to you a few months later. So we bought uh, a couple of things from the mm -hmm. Hit and Run store in April that actually arrived in August, uh, and one of them is... It's a hat! Well, it's a Uptown cap. hat, <laughs> yes. So uh, a snapback hat with symbol on the side and the Uptown design from Dirty Mind, um, the exact you know graffiti design from yeah. Dirty Mind. Uh, and this is really cool. I've been wearing it loads. I love it. So, yeah. <laughs> and the Uptown, like... The word uptown's in pink, which is cool because there's a funny story. Because for all of you people that own the Dutch release of the single for Uptown, the sleeve's actually pink. Wow. So yeah. Fun fact. That's there quite you cool. Go. So uh... there you go. So um I think what happened with the hit and run store this time was that actually not everybody got their stuff at the same time. It depended no. on what you ordered. So I think some people might still be waiting for, they did a bomber jacket that was really cool. We didn't order it, um, cause it was pretty expensive that bomber jacket. Yeah. But, and lots of people did, and I'm not sure if those have been delivered yet, but everybody who ordered the limited edition, nothing compares to you stuff, um, should have had it by now. Now, obviously we already showed you probably, I guess months ago, the uh, limited edition, nothing compares to you release that was done yeah, in Minneapolis through Electric Fetus that we bought back in April. Um, so this is yes. actually a different version, the one that was from the Hit and Run store. The one from the Hit and Run store is Picture Disc. Yeah, so it's like, it sort of looks the same, but it's not the same. Also, that one, the yeah. limited edition one is purple vinyl, right? Yes, so yeah. if you haven't seen that video yet and you want to check out what the difference is, check our video from back when we got that one in April as well. We'll link it in the description below. Was that part of our celebration videos? No, it no? was a separate video. Separate one, yeah. okay. I don't remember these things. <laughs> anyway, there's, um, there's three releases yeah. of Nothing Compares to You. There's the limited edition purple one, mm -hmm. which we bought and showed you uh, back in April in Minneapolis. There's this picture disc one, which was sold through the Hit and Run store. And then there's just like a standard seven inch black vinyl release, um, which I don't think we have that one yet. It's just like a no, standard release. And that's, get it though. that's the one that you get from um, from Amazon and, and yeah. just general record stores and whatnot. I think because we already had the purple one and we knew we had the picture disc coming, we sort of weren't in any big rush to pick up the, the sort of standard release, if you will. Um, but probably for completion's sake, we should probably pick yeah, that up at we'll some point. Yeah, and then we'll probably like put it all behind us so that we have like three. Yeah, do like a comparison. <laughs> anyway, yeah. here you go, the picture disc. That's the front. Yep. And the that back. is the back. Now, there is one more thing that we got uh, from the Hit and Run store. We're going to show you now. And here we have it. It's the Nothing Compares to You matching shirt with the same design as the picture disc. Um, it's a little bit creased because I already wore it already. I couldn't wait. Um, <laughs> and here we have the logo of the Princess Data, if you can see that. Yep, like in every t-shirt that they make. Well, the new ones have that anyway, because some of them are obviously bravado, but yeah, this and one's one that yeah. compares to you. So yeah, the colors are quite vibrant on this one. It's, it's very like vibrant. super purple. And it's then very vibrant. the middle is sort of like 
twist it around the middle. Yeah, the only thing that I wish is that it said Prince on it somewhere because it's just his outline and it says yeah. nothing compares to you. Um, but I guess I have plenty of shirts that just say <laughs> Prince in various <laughs> yeah, ways I, on it. Yeah. So, yeah. I guess I'd like any fan could recognize him from just a silhouette, but maybe not so much people that are just in the streets and that maybe only know him from like Purple Rain, which if you only knew, know him from Purple Rain and you're watching this video, please, please, please go check out all of his other work because he is just amazing and we miss him so much. Yep, the majority of it um, is now available on Spotify and streaming services, like probably like 80 to 85% of his yeah. released catalog. Um, is all available for your listening pleasure. Speaking of which, we have got something from a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful album that Prince made in the 90s at Tree Discs. Kim's and it's favorite my album. favorite album. And so obviously- Do you we, know what it's called? We had to get some promo stuff for it. So let's see what we got. So, um, we saw a lot basically on eBay. Yeah. With a bunch of stuff. Was it eBay or was it one of the Prince groups? I, I think, think it was, it was one of the, the Prince, Prince groups. groups. Yeah. Um, and we got a bunch of Emancipation promo stuff. Yeah. So we got this um, flat kind of promotional card thing, yeah. sort of almost 12 inch vinyl shaped, isn't it? Sort of. Yeah. Um, that kind of size and, then, and shape and it's double sided it is so i don't know how to how we're gonna hang it up because i can't put it on the wall as a poster because it has two sides so it says three hours of love sex and liberty mm -hmm. which uh is true for this album it seriously is are you a fan of emancipation if so tell us your favorite songs in the comments yes. that's what and we want to know yeah. start that comment with a little with a little orange heart because the album like the album's cover up the colors mainly orange so a little orange heart then tell us your favorite songs on it so what else came in the Emancipation promo back? Well, a bag for a start. Oh. <laughs> a bag that we are going to take very good care of. Yep. Um, and let's have a look what's in the bag. So we have got... Ooh, there is a promo sort of like postcard type of thing. So, you know, if it was the 90s and you had this promo material and you wanted to go tell your friends about it, just send them this postcard thing. I don't know if I can show you like... Oh, the writing on it is there you go you can sort of see it so then i've got like a window like a, sticker i guess is it like a car sticker like yeah. a reverse one or something yeah it's sort of like a car sticker or like something that you like put on your window so if you want to show your whole neighborhood that you love emancipation you can that's have what you that. do that's what you do then we have finally we got button. this little badge whoop, whoop. Yeah. Woo. badge button <laughs> Oh, and uh, in the lot, we actually, uh, we already had this tape and I yeah. think we showed it to you in a previous video. Maybe the one where we talked about all the stuff that we mm -hmm. got in uh, Amoeba Music when we were in LA, yeah. our Amoeba Music Hall. Although this wasn't from Amoeba, it was a gift from a friend, but we already had it. But now we have another copy of it and that is a sealed promo. Ah! Uh, <laughs> everything. A sealed Holy River promo. There yeah. we go. So uh, A side uh, is the Holy River and the B side is the acoustic Welcome to the Dawn. Yep. So now you know that that was part of the promo material for Emancipation. You know what I really like when uh, on the de graphic design on the credits, it always says photos and design by Park. Not, not Steve Park, just Park. He lost his, his first name. He was He's just, just Park. a Park. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so moving on. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of cool promotional items and things that are a little bit different to the standard versions of an album or a movie or whatever it is. Um, here's an item that I saw years ago in a store. I think it was in like, like an, not like an antique store, but like, you know, like a, just like a second hand like record store that also has memorabilia and videos and stuff like that. And I didn't buy it. Uh, and this is like, I'm talking like 15 years ago, maybe more. And uh, I didn't, I didn't really uh, know like, well, I, I knew what it was, but I thought it was like a really common item and that I'd see it all the time and it'd pop up all the time. And that's not to say that it's <laughs> rare because it's not particularly rare, but um, I didn't see it again in any actual store or on shelves and it doesn't pop up on eBay that often, I don't think. So I just happened to come across a listing and I saw it and I was like, wow, that's the thing that I didn't buy 15 years ago. Um, and here it is. It is the limited edition Batman release that comes in a like circular kind of can. Batman. So Batman, Batman in a can. And there's the back of it. Bat can. <laughs> Bat can, yeah. Uh, Batman can, Bat can. That's and then even like the uh, like the booklet 
is circular and it has like pictures of people from the film and yep. then and then also pictures of Gemini I think it's got Batman it's got Vicky Vale it's got the Joker there is a picture of Prince in here somewhere, somewhere. and it's got all the credits where is the picture is of there... Prince? there he is there, there is. is there is the man himself whoop, whoop. You can see that. Sitting in um, his chair all mighty like that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, I just think this is a really cool item. It's really cool, like, probably for Batman fans as well as for Prince fans. Yeah. Just a cool little can. So, yeah, there we go. The Batman can. The Bat can. <laughs> um, is that it? No, oh, we've got two more things. So we've got two more things that we want to show you. Actually, three more things. Three more things. Two three things, things kind of go together. I'm not sure whether we showed you. Like, you must have seen. Like, we got... We have a very good friend that we did an interview with as well. He is 1999 Art, or some of you might know him better as Marco, and he makes these amazing art pieces of prints in all different styles, different eras. So, yep. if we, you remember, yeah. we showed you uh, his book that came out, and we yep. did a review, and we did an interview with him. Um, so you can buy various things with his art on it. And that's what we've done. We've bought some very cool things. Yeah. So uh, you might have spotted this one behind us already. So this is a pillow Woo! with <laughs> one of his designs on it. And how cool is that? Three three princes, it's called. Uh, that's just cool. I wish it's we had cool. that. Like there would have been three of him so that we would have two left, would have had two left now. And yeah, but you know. <laughs> the, funny, the funny thing is you can buy these pillows in different sizes. There's like four different sizes. And I think this is the second smallest size. And then yeah. there's like two or three bigger sizes than this. And I was wondering that like, because I bought one of the smaller sizes, I was like, is it going to be like a small pillow? But actually it's like, it's, quite big, yeah. it's pretty big. So the, the bigger ones must be like huge. They must be like, like, you could even like sit on them. I don't know. It's like a bean like, bag more of the bigger ones. Maybe we'll get that one day and you'll just see us making videos like being like that because yeah. we're on a bean bag. Like I think one of the sizes is literally like twice as big yeah, as this. So that true. would be huge. Yeah. So something that matches that, I'm just going to quickly grab it, is a t-shirt of his with one of his designs as well. So we also got this design on a shirt. I absolutely love this design controversy era uh, with the rude boy pin. Look at that. How cool is that? And uh, I'm glad to see that I'm I'm not alone um, with loving the having these designs on a T-shirt mm -hmm. because uh, for those of you who might know, um, Questlove from the Roots has a symphonic show with uh, performing Prince songs with an orchestra that he's done with uh, Brent Fisher, the son of Claire Fisher. Uh, who obviously did all the orchestral arrangements for Prince. And on the opening night to this tour, which is called For You, mm -hmm. Questlove was seen wearing one of Marco's designs. Not this design, it was, um, but a very similar yeah. one in era. It was also a controversy era one. I think Prince with like a hat on and a bandana and or something. Yes. Um, so that's very cool. So Marco's designs on t-shirts are definitely a winner mm -hmm. amongst the Prince fan base and the Purple Army, whatever you want to call yeah. it. We love it. So yeah, look out for me rocking this design. So and I'm holding one more t-shirt and I'm holding it backwards. This is a Bravado t-shirt. Yes, Bravado who have the deal with the Prince estate. Now, I don't know, some of you may have seen this one. This is the For You design, yeah. which is very cool because it has the picture and prints on the front and on the back, it has produced, arranged, composed, and performed by Prince. There we go. If you yeah. can see that. <laughs> now, there's a really interesting story here, actually. Um, so first of all, this shirt, at least for the moment, has been an exclusive to Hot Topic in the US. Yes. Now, I know what you're thinking. You guys are not in the US. You're in the UK. <laughs> you sometimes go to the US, but you haven't been to the US in the last few months. And that's correct. So um, the interesting thing is that um, if you remember our last haul video, we showed you the um, Around the World in a Day and the Parade, no, I mean the Under the Cherry Moon yeah. shirt. Now, it seems that these ones, I don't think they're exclusive to the UK, but they hit the UK first. Yes. And they may or may not yet be available uh, in the US, or at least last month, they definitely weren't. Mm. So uh, one of our good friends, shout out to Raymond, he wanted the the Under the Cherry Moon shirt that just came out. Um, and I wanted the For You shirt, which <laughs> is in the only in the US. So we had a little bit of a trade. So I said, you know what? We're not gonna, you know, we're not gonna, not gonna need to pay each other, send any money back and forth. You buy me that shirt, send it to me. I'll buy this shirt, send it to you. 
all sorted. A fair exchange, a fair trade. Yep. So that's what we did. <laughs> so got my Hot Topic exclusive for you shirt and I've already been wearing it out and about. Yeah, so we've got one more thing to show you. And you may already have seen it yep. hiding in the background. We will Can give you see you, it? Yeah. Can you see it? We're going to zoom in. We're going to pan over there. <laughs> yes, we got a poster of the Come album over there. How yes, cool we is did. that? So in my opinion, and I think also in your opinion, we think that it's Prince's or one of Prince's most underappreciated albums because it is so good, but it never quite got the love that it deserved because obviously you had come and then you also had the gold experience and yep. they were sort of like competing with each other and then like prince wanted that to be like one of his albums competing with the other one because all the stuff was going on with warners and whatnot so that album never really got like the love and promotion it deserved but we absolutely love, we love it, it. Yeah. I, it's my favorite it's probably my favorite prince album of the 90s to be honest and i think you know he kind of um he downplayed it and 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 supported the gold experience more yeah but i think but first of all, Come was number one in the UK. So obviously his little plan <laughs> didn't work. Uh, UK he was like, what are you doing? We all, we all loved yeah. it over here. It was a number one record over here. And I think it's just a lot more cohesive and raw and just intense than the Gold Experience. Oh, yeah. I think Gold Experience, some of it to me is a little overproduced. So like, yeah. it was like he thought so, he thought so highly of the songs that he just like loaded them up and loaded them up and loaded them up. And I think if you listen to like, uh, early mixes of Endorphin Machine from like a year before Gold Experience came out or earlier, then for example, like it's a lot more raw, there's a lot less going on, but like it just feels more intense and alive. Um, and I think maybe because Come to Him was not like the one and the Gold Experience was the one, he just sort of did the songs and was like, yeah, here you go. And, and he didn't <laughs> kind of overthink it and overproduce well, some of it. So it's very raw, like for me, like something like Pheromone is just way more intense than anything on Gold Experience. I feel like for me, it's like I really, really like both albums and the Gold Experience to me is a lot more happy sounding, da da da, happy vibe, mm -hmm, all that. Super overproduced though. And it's like an album that was bound to go more commercial. He wanted to sell that album to the public, whatnot. And with Come, it's just like raw stuff, was heavily, heavily, heavily listening to Nine Inch Nails and Trent. You could definitely hear that in Pheromone because it's so much more like aggressive sexually, whereas the gold experience is a bit more like, oh, you know, you've got the most beautiful girl in the world, which is nice, loving and sweet. And then like, come is sort of like, if you get the gold experience in, come is like, if they were if they were like twins, come would sort of be like the evil twin who was like, yes, like aggression and whatnot. And the gold experience would be like the bubbly one. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of like, it's like the dirty mind of the 90s. Pretty it's like much, yeah. raw, black and white imagery, yeah. very sexual, and he just doesn't give a fuck. Like, no, he he's doesn't. Like, well, the title track is going to be just like a 10 minute, just like funk jam, which yep. is like the nastiest like lyrics. And he's like, I don't care. Like, And that's why I love it. It's just yeah. raw, dirty prints. Yeah, there's some like more loose songs on Come as well. Like some more like like fun love ones. Like loose, yes! <laughs> <laughs> well, no, Loose is still quite heavy, actually. Yeah, Space is. is a bit more like lovey dovey. Like, but yeah, it's like most of it is just raw, aggressive stuff, and it's great for it. So, yeah, let us know in the comments below. Also, if you love the come up, you know what? If you like Emancipation more, do the orange heart. If you like come more, do a little black heart in the comments. So, we want to see which album is liked better in the Prince community. So, black heart. What about the gold experience? Just put a yellow heart for the gold experience. <laughs> just tell us, just yes. enough of this heart. Just tell us whether you prefer come to the gold experience or the gold experience to come <laughs> and tell us if you prefer emancipation to either of them. So. The heart thing's so fun to do though because we'll get like a nice little thing of heart. Drop a heart them. if you want to drop a yes. heart, but don't feel obliged. No, you don't have to if you don't want to. <laughs> So yeah, tell us which album you like best from the 90s, Emancipation, Gold Experience, or Come, and the one you like best, tell us your favourite songs, and then we will comment back on something for comments. So that's it for our August haul, everyone. Drop us a comment and let us know what you think of all the cool stuff that yep. we got in the last month. Once again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. And we'll see you next time for more funk, vibes, and live. That's right. I'm Casey Rain. I'm Kim Camellia. Peace. Peace Be out. Wild. Be wild. Bye. Bye. Hey, I'm Anna Fantastic, and you're tuned in to The Violet Reality.